Charleston Advancement Academy is a free charter high school. Uh, we have two schools. We're here right here in North Charleston at Trident Tech. And also we have a school located in James Island. Uh, students will receive a high school diploma, not a GED. We value high school diplomas because they matter. Very small, that's one thing that I love about our school. We really prize community here and bring our students together, whether we're talking about something academic, or whether we're talking about maybe a personal issue. Um, I love that we can get personal with our students. I've been in Charleston for about six years now, um, originally from Georgia, and prior to coming on board with Charleston Advancement Academy, I've never heard of a school like this before. I've heard of alternative school, um, non-traditional high school settings, but nothing with our model and our mission, and I think it's something that really is much needed, not only in the Charleston area, but just in the community in general. You know, from day one, when I first walked into this building, the non-traditional style uh, just made the, the school pop. You don't have 30, 40 kids sitting in one classroom with one teacher. The teacher to student ratio is, is controllable. You know, the students that we're dealing with, um, you know, they're, they're just needing the extra hand. You know, they are looking for role models, positive people that they can rely on in life. And the way our school is set up with, you know, the support system and the wraparound services that we provide, there's no room for any student to fail. The CAA, it allows us the flexibility to really serve our students and their families holistically. So not just academically, but the social and emotional aspect as well. Uh, we know that a lot of our students are hungry. They're hungry for knowledge, they're hungry for education, they're hungry for love. And we just have to be the right ones here every single day reminding ourselves of what our why is and our young ones make sure that we stay on top of that. It is a non-traditional school. I feel like I'm able to um, you know, communicate and be a part of their lives in a different way. So, you know, it's not really just about, you know, academics are very important, but, you know, creating just a community where they belong and they're able to express themselves and just feel welcome in a culture that they are familiar with and, you know, just teach everyone, you know, that you know, language and music, different music and different foods, you know, it really can bring everyone together no matter what interests you have. It's a great opportunity for us and it's a challenge at the same time to get these young people to believe in themselves, have confidence so that they can move forward and become productive citizens in society. Um, also another thing that I love about our school is that we can be a community uh, versus maybe those traditional schools where there's just a lot of students at one time um, because our students get to choose their schedule we usually have the opportunity to kind of get to know our students on a personal level, um, bring them all together as a small community. Community, <laughs> it's all about the community. So we all just you know, share ide ideas and have fun with the students. And it's, it's great it's because it's so you know, flexible and open. This is the first setting I've ever been in when each student is assigned a student advocate. Um, which follow, that student advocate follows these students throughout their entire time at CAA again supporting them in every area to ensure their success. I definitely get to dig a little deeper with my students um, regarding restorative practices and sort of conflict resolution. Um, those are the things that we really try to instill in our students to give them the skills that they need to be successful while they're here, whether they're not in school, whether they're a student or whether even when they've graduated. Having them understand that we've been there before, that we've walked the steps that they've walked, we've had the questions that they've had. I think it's really beautiful being able to work with younger individuals because as they're writing your sto their own story, you get to be a part of that process. We have kids that are from so many different dynamics, so it gives you an opportunity to touch so many different lives in so many different ways, and it also teaches you a lot about yourself. It shows you what you might have been as a kid, so it's like, ah. Oh. The more questions that they have, the more I keep, you know, questioning them and making sure that they get it out so that they know that they can vent. At least having somebody that they can relate to, someone that's, you know, willing to mentor them, someone that's willing to, you know, walk through the fire with them, you know, let them know that they're, that they're not alone. 
youth is our future. Youth will soon be adults running the world or doing things, so it's important that we take care of them and lead them in the right direction. They're the future. Uh, we gotta have strong leadership and strong character for the uh, young people as they move forward, so they're gonna be the one who leads society. I really love our students here, um, just to give them that second chance. You know, forget about the old, coming to Charleston Advancement Academy with the new, that's why we're here.